Hey gang, it's your old buddy Clat. I just want to do a quick video today over to, to relieve some concerns I get in the comment sections about safety of what I do, home brewing and making of beer, wine, what have you. Uh, in my most popular videos called Simplest Way to Make Booze at Home, I get a lot of concern. Is this poison? You're hurting people. Will this make you go blind? What about the methanol? I just want to tell you relax. Uh, first and foremost, I used the term booze in the video. It was my first video I ever did. Booze, just kind of a catch-all term for anything alcoholic. But in a lot of people's mind, they think distilled spirits or hard liquor. Um, what we did in that video was just made homemade wine, for lack of a better term. Just simple homemade wine. Uh, you'll, you'll hear the term prison wine. That's another thing I talked about in the video and get in the comment section. Well, prison wine. Well, I heard prison wine kills people. Like, just relax. Um, the alcohol that's in wine, whether it's homemade or commercially bought, it's the same alcohol. Because at the end of the day, they're using the same process. They're just taking yeast and fermenting grape juice. And it's the same type of yeast. There's not a different strain of yeast that makes different types of alcohol. It's all the same alcohol. Now, yeast produces ethanol, but in that ethanol, in that alcohol, there are sub-alcohols, including a minute percent of methanol. And uh, forgive me, we'll go to my notes here. Uh, in this video, down below in the description section, I'm going to put a series of links to different articles that you can do further research on this stuff and see where I'm getting it. And uh, the first one I put in there is a link to the Wikipedia link for methanol. It'll let you know what it is, describes it. Um, basically, ethanol is wood alcohol or alcohol used for industrial purposes. This is what poisons people. This is what makes people sick. In the article, it talks about how it will break down internal organ functions, how it can cause blindness. Um, methanol is the bad alcohol. Uh, it's also chemically the simplest alcohol. The compound itself is CH3OH. And where it comes into play in the production of drinkable alcoholic, alcoholic beverages is it has a boiling point of 148.5. And that comes into importance in distillation because it's distillation that will concentrate the alcohol. Um, and that's where people are getting sick. It, it's not from homemade beer or homemade wine. It's when that alcohol gets concentrated, that amount of methanol gets concentrated. And if you drink concentrated methanol, that won't hurt you. Uh, my next link is the Wikipedia link for ethanol. Ethanol is the alcohol that we consume in beer, wine, me, what have you. Um, ethanol compound is C2H6O and it has a boiling point at 172.8 so it boils at a higher temperature. Why that's relevant is in distillation you have a batch of let's say wine you want to turn to brandy or beer something beer like that you want to turn to whiskey. You will put it in your still and you'll start to heat that up. And this is done commercially too. At 148 we're at the boiling point of methanol. So methanol is going to be the first thing that comes off that still. And it's not until we get to 172 does the ethanol start to come off. So running a batch of let's say moonshine, like the old moonshiners would have done, your first bit of that run is going to be that concentrated methanol. Now in a commercial distillery or someone that knows what they're doing at home, what have you, they know to throw out that first bit, that concentrated methanol. Unfortunately, the old bootleggers, moonshiners, some unscrupulous people that make some of these illegal illicit booze, they do not throw that out. And that unfortunately got sold or given to people and they thought they were just buying straight moonshine, but what they got was concentrated methanol and that's where people started going blind, getting sick, dying. And that's what you gotta worry about. But again, this only happens in distillations, not in home brewing. Again, my video was making homemade wine. We're not concentrating the methanol in that video. Um, speaking of concentrations, I found an article on Reddit called Methanol and Homebrewing. 
And again, it discusses that. Uh, the example they give is if you made a five-gallon batch of wine, let's say, and you want you had a five-gallon still, you want to run that, and you get a shot glass or so of, of the concentrated methanol. Yes, if you drink just that shot glass of concentrated methanol, you can do damage to yourself. But that shot glass gets diluted in an entire five-gallon batch. So unless you drink the entire five-gallon batch, you're not really getting a lot of concentrated methanol. And again, it's the concentration of that methanol. It's how diluted it is. Um, go check the FDA website or go do a little research about allowable traces of cleaners, poisons, or whatever they get in commercial food. It's parts per million. It's picograms. It's the dilution or the concentration that's the big issue. Um, next is probably the article everybody will click on and probably the one that I think hopefully sells it to you. Uh, Can homemade booze kill you? And it's an ABC News report. And they start off telling the story about some illegal booze made in Libya that ended up killing some people and hurting a lot of others. But again, it was distilled booze. It wasn't homemade beer or wine. And in that article, they discuss that homemade beer, homemade wine is pretty safe. Now, any consumption of alcohol, ethanol included, has its downside. There's health risk anytime you drink alcohol. But we're all hopefully adults, and more importantly, one or two beers or whatever is not that big a deal. But again, we get to the distilled spirits and the concentration of methanol. That's the danger. So don't don't confuse the two. Um, another article I found was winemaking and methanol on HowStuffWorks.com, and in it has a couple of numbers I think will uh, alleviate your concerns. In wine, commercial wine or homemade wine, roughly the methanol percentage is roughly between 0.0041 and 0.02 percent methanol very very tiny trace highly diluted so that should hopefully alleviate some of your concerns um, again this is about distillation it's about the concentration of alcohol I get a lot of questions about distilling water I, I don't do distilling but I, I have spent days in distilleries seen the process actually work a day in a distillery and if you are interested in that couple of articles for you. Step-by-step -step home distilling, distilling by Mother Earth News. Again, they talk about how various parts of the run produce various types of alcohol. There, again, alcohol is not an all catch-all. There's al methanol, ethanol, what have you. That methanol, again, because the lower boiling point is the first thing to come off that still. So you need to know how long that is, how long is the ethanol part, and then the other trace alcohols toward the end. Um, there's also another article, How Distilling Works, Popular Mechanics, that goes into the technical details to talk about how the first few percents is that methanol and how you want to separate that, toss it out, or again, use it for the proper industrial purposes it was meant for. Um, please check out these links. If you have any questions or whatever, you know, look at those. Also, I talked to my homebrew, local homebrew shop, told them, you know, kind of the dilemma. How, you know, ask him how to better explain it. And, and the way he explained it to me was that um, methanol is a bigger player in products produced by grain than is grapes. Homemade wine is fairly safe, and homemade beer is safe. Call your local homebrew shop if you're not sure. Um, you know, again, in, in the follow up video, I talked about getting wine or beer yeast to use water. Ask that guy behind the counter if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, because he can explain to you what's going on. And then again, this is not distillation, it's fermentation. The methanol is highly diluted. You will, you should be safe. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the videos. It lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Until next time, bottoms up.